High school volleyball continues. Alvarado coming off a big tournament win on Saturday, using that momentum as fuel, heading into today's home match against Trico. Falcons drop the first set and are forced to rally in the second. Morgan Bernardini off the block for the point. This game was all about adjusting. So many great digs, plays made out of system. Reese Funk with the roll shot, good placement. The senior Morgan Bardi Bard Barnardini was clutch. A nice hit from back row. Alvarado forces a game three, winning the second. Long rallies were the name of the game today, but in the end, the Falcons came out on top after dropping the first set, winning the next two, 25-16, 25-22. The girls, they played hard. Uh, they stayed with it. Uh, they worked together, and um, that's just what our team's about is is coming together as a team and helping each other out and staying positive. I think we came out strong and played as a team um, and we're down a few players with COVID and I think just having to put a team together so fast and quickly that we overcame obstacles um, and just played really good together. We definitely were just out of the first game. We didn't play like we usually do and we know how to. We just kind of all came together and we were like, hey, if we want to win, we got to play together as a team. So that's what we did. We really got the momentum back and we kept it and we kept it and we made sure that we kept it. Our fan section was amazing. That really helps us and just all the support we have is all we can ask for. Everybody got involved in SIU football's home opener against Dayton on Saturday. Salukis dominated the entire game start to finish, cruising to a 55-3 win over the Flyers. One senior in particular had waited a long time for his moment. Hunter Milligan, a Marion native, a walk-on four years ago, made his first ever touchdown catch. There it is. The final score of the game, Milligan was awarded a full scholarship at the start of the season for the contributions that he brings to the team that don't necessarily show up on the stat sheet. Now I spoke with Milligan after he was awarded that scholarship and he told me he's wanted to be a Saluki for as long as he can remember. That's a dream growing up playing sports is what, it's what every kid wants to do, you know, especially being around here. It was always a Salukis for me. So, you know, it was, it was very, very special to me, and I can't explain how much it means to me. Oh, it's awesome. Um, it's, a, it's a special moment as a coach uh, just to see the, the joy on, on um, not only his face, but our team, team's face. These guys see the, the commitment and toughness and going down on scout team, and, and you just can't have a great team unless you have guys like Hunter Milligan. And so it's really just a lot of joy to see them get out there and get that opportunity to, to do that in a game. SIU is back inside Saluki Stadium this Saturday, the conference opener against Illinois State, a 2 p.m. kickoff. Former SIU distance runner Emily Settle passed away late Sunday night at the age of 24 after battling acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Settle became sick her freshman year back in April of 2016. The Settle family has requested in lieu of flowers to please make a donation to the Emily Settle Fund, a fund that helps young cancer patients in Indiana pay for various treatments and other costs. The link to donate is on your screen. The Marion Girls Golf Team are your 2021 South 7 Conference Champions for the fourth straight year. The team shot 120 less than the second place team, Carbondale. Wildcats Bailey Kelly took first place with 74, Annie Shin from Carbondale, and Grace Roper from Marion tied for second with 77.